So now we have all these different file uploaders. Now, if I click on any of these, uh, you can see the dialog opens up. And if I click on any of these, it will work. And oh, what did I just open? And yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. Like you can simply do that. And also, also uh, you can drag as well. So if you have any images or anything uh, similar to that, uh, you can simply uh, drag and drop. So for example, so let's say I have this image, I can simply drag and drop here and you can see it says droneprogramming.jpg. So hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how we can upload files to our software. So we will use a file uploader where you can upload files like video files, images, any kind of data like PDF, so you can process it using your software. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's feature is very exciting because it opens up a lot of possibilities. So what we will do is, as always, we are going to create a new project and we are going to name it File Dialog. So we are going to save this. And once we save it, we will also create a folder here uh, in our PyCharm and we are going to call it File Dialog as well. And we are going to copy the path reference so that we can auto sync it. So here for auto sync, we will click on that. We will paste this link and we will select this folder. So now that auto sync is enabled, we can drag and drop and it should work. Okay. Speaking of drag and drop, we can go to inputs now. And here you can see we have file dialogues. So if we click on see all here, you can see we have different types of file dialogues uh, that we can use. Now, first of all, we are going to look at the design and then we will look at the code. Now, the thing with file dialogues is that you can simply click on it and drag and drop. Now, the thing is that you have three main options when you are uploading files or when you have a file selector or file dialog like this. So what are those? I'm going to explain now. But for now, I just want to show you some designs that we already have uh, that you can use as it is. So you can uh, use this as well. So all of these will work by default. Now uh, we will look at the options as well. But just to be on the safe side, we are going to uh, upload this and see if everything works in our file dialog here. Let's run that. And there you go. So now we have all these different file uploaders. Now, if I click on any of these, uh, you can see the dialog opens up. And if I click on any of these, it will work. And oh, what did I just open? And yeah, so that that's pretty much it. Like you can simply do that. And also, also, uh, you can drag as well. So if you have any images or anything uh, similar to that, uh, you can simply uh, drag and drop. So for example, so let's say I have this image, I can simply drag and drop here and you can see it says droneprogramming.jpg. So at the end of the day, what we are getting is a link. So a name or a link uh, with this file uploader and what you do with that file then it's up to you you can access it delete it copy it whatever you want to do you can do with that okay anyways so what we'll do is we'll remove all of these uh, so that we just work with one and we can see what's the differences here okay so first of all we have the width and height as you can see we can drag and drop uh, we can drag and move and we can change the size of this as we desire and then we have the drag and drop. Now, do you allow drag and drop or not? This is the question. So if we disable this, then you cannot drag an image or anything on top of this. Then you have to click and it will open the browser and then you can run it. I hope that is uh, understandable. And then we have three types. As I mentioned, we have three types. One is open file. This is by default you can select different types of files. So here in the file filters, you can select what type of files do you want. If you don't want to specify any file type, uh, you can remove this and keep it all files, or you have a very uh, dynamic or very uh, different uh, file type, then just do all files for now. Uh, but if you wanted to select, so for example, only images and only PNG images, then you can do this. 
right and then it will only select uh, png images so if i update this now and if i go back here and if i run this if i click on this here you can see in the images can you see that yeah in the images it says only dot png so as you can see it has shifted but if i do other uh, file types it will appear as whatever you have written so if you do all files and png then it will show all files and png so I, I think you get the idea. It's not that difficult uh, to understand this part. So there you go. It says all files. And then you have the second option of PNG. So it will keep adding options uh, like file uploaders too. Okay. So uh, then we have the second type, which is save file. So if you wanted to save in a folder, then this will give you the link of that folder. So if I update now, this time around, it will uh, it will look pretty much the same. But then if I click on it, it will ask us to save, save as type. Uh, then again, you have all files, whatever type you have, you can select from there. And then you have the save option now, right? Uh, earlier, you had the select option, but now is it visible? Yeah, it's visible. So now you have the save option. So that's good. And then uh, we have the uh, third type, which is select folder. So in this case, uh, you have to select a folder and from that folder you can get images or whatever you want but again the idea is that it will give you the link of that folder so here you can see now it says select folder so as you can see natively it will work with folder and with saving with files and all that so this is how you can change the settings here and it becomes very easy to do this and then you have drop a file here this is basically the text you can write whatever you want uh, and um, then you have the text uh, color you can change here let's let's pick the blue uh, that we have here there you go so now we have drop a file and then you have the font family you can change that you have the font size uh, you have bold italic pretty much similar things that we had earlier uh, this is i believe the background color so here you can uh, increase the opacity of it and then you can change the color uh, if you wanted to you can do that so you can have a little bit of a uh, light color there and then you have the corner radius you can increase and decrease uh, then you have the paddings uh, then you have the border color uh, the border thickness and the border color and then you have the dashed this is uh, important it's still experimental but it's important for a drag and drop because mostly they are dashed or dotted so you can select it from here um, uh, and, and some of them will work if you have a bigger border thickness right because double of course it will not appear if it's too close um, yeah so that's basically the idea and uh, what else what else do we have yeah we have icons so you can select from different icons that you have here uh, for example if i wanted this i don't know why i would want that but <laughs> if i wanted i can and then you can shift left and right you can increase and decrease the scale of it by the way you can type in the values here as well uh, even if you exceed you can still type in the values here uh, not recommended but yeah that's one of the things that you can do then the icon spacing you can move it around again you can exceed the value if you wanted to uh, then we have the move back forward and the opacity and pretty much uh, this we have seen in our previous uh, topic so let's run this and uh, hopefully everything will be working here and if we go back and you can see uh, as as i told you uh, the 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 dotted and the dashed these lines they are experimental so they don't always work the same way uh, so that's why we still have it in experimental so it's it's a good idea to keep the border thickness as two minimum so that you get some good results but hopefully that's only for now so it will be fixed later so as you can see now it shows drop a file and all of that good stuff and uh, why didn't the file the font didn't change here for some reason uh, but it did change uh, on our python file so some some bug somewhere but don't worry we'll fix those and as you can see we have some hover color as well so it tells you that you are hovering over it and of course you can drag and drop uh, files as well uh, no we we stopped the drag and drop if you remember uh, we um, paused it or we disabled it to be 
specific yeah so drag and drop is disabled uh, but let me enable that because I like drag uh, so this is enabled now and if we run that again and if I go to images and if I drop and there you go drone programming.jpg so this is uh, the basic idea now let's go ahead and look at the code how exactly can we code this so as always we will go to our attach events and that is where everything starts so we will go here and what we need is the file dialog so if we go back and we look at the code uh, the name of the file dialog is file dialog zero so we can simply copy that and we can go back and here we can write uh, ui and this ui is in page underscore zero and then we will paste in our file dialog and then we have a function call uh, that is on file selected like on click on hover we have this on file selected and we give in the name of the folder uh, not the folder the name of the function so uh, let's say do something right that's the name of our uh, function so we will write here do underscore something and then we will get in the path so by default it will give us the path because in all three cases it will provide us with the path uh, of the file of the folder or whatever it is okay and then we can simply print path there you go so if we run this now and let's say uh, i drag my image here and at the bottom here, you can see this is the path, uh, file path. So that's how simple it is. And once you have this, uh, you can uh, import the image, you can process the image or uh, the PDF file or whatever you have. You now have the link. It means you have the file and you can process it any way you want. So this is it for today. I hope you have learned something new. If you like the video, if you like the series, give it a thumbs up and keep following and I will see you in the next one.